<laughs> we got this really funny story in my head. I think it's super hilarious. The UK government is considering allowing us UK residents the ability to celebrate Christmas, right? In the midst of a lockdown. What could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? They spent all this time telling us, oh, if you stay indoors with people you don't know in mixed groups, outside a support bubble, you're going to spread the virus, you're going to kill grandma, you're going to spread it all over the place, blah de blah 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 And now they're somehow figuring out a way to open things up so that it can allow us to go to other people's homes to celebrate Christmas. I'm not sure about you, but I could give a shit about Christmas anyway, regularly, right? Couldn't care less. Could care one less, right? Christmas, birthdays, don't give a crap, right? I'm a grown up, right? I don't celebrate these things. Unless you're unless you're under ten, it doesn't matter really. It really doesn't. You're you're amongst friends, you're amongst family, cool, eat, drink, go and do your thing. But in terms of oh I can't wait for Christmas or my birthday, grow up if you're over ten. Grow up, right? And especially in this year, especially this year. Wouldn't, wouldn't this be the year where like you'd be like you know what i know usually i make a big deal out of christmas but this is the one year where i'm gonna try and scale it back a bit and guess what not go to other people's homes maybe just do something over skype maybe make something i don't know connect with your people um some other way you know facetime make some bang dinner at home with people that you live with wherever it may be or if you don't live with somebody i don't know watch a flipping podcast wouldn't that be a better time to wouldn't this be the perfect time to be like you know what i'm gonna rein it in and this is what I don't understand about this year. Like, why is it this year, in the midst of COVID, everyone wants to celebrate their birthday. They want to celebrate their um, gender reveals, celebrate their engagements, all these celebrations in the midst of a global pandemic. And usually, for the most part, if you're a celebrator of things, you're not celebrating them alone. You're always celebrating them in groups, right? When have you ever seen P. Diddy partying by himself? He's not like you and I. He doesn't, he doesn't go to flipping Berghain, queue up for an hour and a half on his own, and then rave for 15 hours by himself. He doesn't do that. He's always on a boat surrounded by lovelies, right? Surrounded by baddies and the boys, right? So if you're a celebrator of, your, if you're a celebrator of these flipping personal holidays and all these sh shenanigans, you're going to have strangers around you. So that kind of defeats the purpose of being under lockdown, doesn't it? Doesn't it defeat the purpose? Tell me. Tell me that to be the purpose. I think it does. What an absolute shocker anyway. So this is the news via BBC. COVID-19 family Christmas get togethers being considered. Like does make it make sense. So it continues here. Nice to see a black family featured on the, on one of the pictures. Nice little touch there, right? Uh, <laughs> ministers are looking at how to relax coronavirus restrictions so families can celebrate Christmas together the government's medical advisor on COVID Susan Hopkins said they were working on a plan and wanted Christmas to be as normal as possible how can it be normal during COVID please someone tell me how how can it be normal it's impossible she said um, tough restrictions might be needed before and after the holiday to allow mixing to take place. Which means, if you really want to do, if you really want to do Christmas, right? This is what I have to do. Same with people that went on holiday. If you went on holiday and you were one of these dunces that went on holiday during the summer and then complained that you had to be under quarantine, you deserve to be pushed off a bridge somewhere, right? If you're going to go on holiday, accept the risk and also accept the responsibility that when you come back, you have to go under quarantine for 14 days. It's a bit arbitrary. It's a bit annoying. Is it really, why, what's the difference between 10 days and 14 days? We don't know, but just, you know, obey the science for now and just do the 14 days and you could go, right? So you'd have to do these little 14 day increments. So you'd have to get tested, I guess, the first day and the 14th day before you leave a holiday. Then when you come back, you get tested and you get, I don't know, whatever you do, but you'd make it work. It's a bit annoying, but you could do it. Same with this Christmas thing. If you really went to go celebrate Christmas with your family and friends, just quarantine for 14 days before the 25th or whatever it is when you go celebrate. And then you could go over to your family, celebrate, hug, kiss, hang out as much as you want, and there'd be absolutely no issue. But no one wants to do that. Everyone wants everything, but no sacrifices. And the government are doing the same thing to us. Like, it's just, it's insane. It's insane. They're treating us like absolute babies. Um, maybe we are babies. Is that it? Maybe we are. <laughs> Um, she said, da, da, da. BBC Health correspondent Nick Triggy said, any rule could change would be a limited time, maybe just a few days. That is nuts. That is nuts. And legitimately, please tell me what the difference is between them saying, hey, we know a lot of, you know, if you ever been in a workplace, you would know that the months between August and December seem to be everyone's birthday every other week or mostly every week at your office space. Somebody's bringing some cake, muffins, whatever bullshit people um, order whenever they do their birthdays. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of birthdays. Get sodded if you're over 10 and you're celebrating your birthday. 
birthday grow up right but you know that happens right so what's the difference between someone saying hey why don't we have september and october open up because everyone's birthday is around that time why don't you just do that what's it between birthdays and christmas zero it, um the prime minister's official spokesman and again christmas not even not everyone even celebrates it everyone's got a flipping birthday not everyone celebrates christmas unless you know if you especially if you're not christian you don't give a crap about christmas anyway um, Prime Minister's official spokesman confirmed ministers were looking at ways to ensure that people can spend time with close family members over Christmas um, at the end of what has been an incredibly difficult year. <laughs> we know it's been difficult. Honestly, I would sacrifice Christmas to have a good new year. If someone told me, right, you'd have to be under lockdown until the end of the year, right? This is November now. If you told me you have to be under lockdown or under some sort of restrictions until the end of the year, right? And you're going to reopen up bars and restaurants with no curfew, but social distancing, all that malarkey, I would take it. I would bite your hand off, mate, legitimately. So all these things about worrying about Christmas, like what would you rather? Would you rather be able to go on holiday from January onwards, right? Some kind of holiday, whether it's domestic or flipping European, right or would you rather have a flipping christmas dinner with your mum and dad because you miss christmas come on man what is this you save some money buy them a present send them some money keep it moving reconvene next year have like a, a delayed christmas dinner or something god damn these people it comes after the sun reported that families may be able to mix indoors five days for Christmas Eve. And if you're wondering, actually, no, you're overreacting. No, we're not. Because in the UK, what they do with COVID and these new restrictions and new uh, lockdown regimes or, uh, you know, opening up the economy is that usually they leak this news to the papers, the broadsheets, the rags in the UK. And then they kind of gauge a reaction from what people are saying on social media. And they make some amendments if they have some, you know, some interesting points come up. That's what they've been doing this entire COVID spell. It's su supremely annoying, right? but it is what it is it continues all four uk nations england scotland wales northern ireland are trying to work out a common approach to christmas so families can spread across sorry spread across the uk can still meet up don't get me wrong i am sympath sympathetic i know a lot of people when christmas comes around there are feelings of like missing family right especially if you're close-knit family um you haven't seen your family in flipping ages i get it christmas can be one of those times it can be really difficult to spend alone because you know traditionally christmas is always spent with family i understand it but if ever there was a time where you have to kind of like just grow up and just accept the situation that you're in this is it this is one of the key times for your mental fortitude to somehow be strengthened or just to hold on for an extra month imagine just even if you're cracking at the seams and you're literally about to throw your head into a concrete wall this is the one time where i'm just telling you hold on hold on because there is light in the tunnel We've heard of vaccines coming up, right? There's two vaccines in the works. One that's blimmin' sponsored by Dolly Parton for all of all people. There's hope at the end of the tunnel. There is light, a glimmer of light for you to like look through and be like, <sighs> it's coming up. If you just take some time to just relax, don't mix around, don't be swapping saliva with strangers, right? Don't be rubbing your armpits in someone's eyeball. Just relax for now, and then you'll be able to enjoy yourself later on. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Anyway, it continues here. It says, our correspondent said any final decision will not be made for weeks while health officials wait to see whether the cases have started to come down. Like, imagine. Uh, but he said the advice was likely to urge families not to hold big gatherings and to travel by car rather than public transport. Scientific advice indications uh, that for every day, the measures are relaxed five days hold on scientific advice indicates that for every day that measures are relaxed five days of tighter restrictions would be needed jesus christmas the government has recorded another 19,609 covid cases in the uk and 529 deaths within the 28 days of a positive test jesus malarkey jesus look at those figures england is expected to come out of the second lockdown on 2nd december and return to its tier system of localized restrictions with household mixing banned indoors in the top two tiers speaking at the downing street briefing the top of public health england suggested restrictions could be needed on either side of christmas if the curbs were to be eased over the festive period that's what i'm saying if you need to restrict stuff tighter before christmas and after christmas i'd rather just forego it i'd rather sacrifice my christmas just so i can enjoy my new year honestly i don't i don't care i don't care everyone's going nuts 
We just want to go out and enjoy ourselves and live our lives as we did previously. We don't give a shit about Christmas. All these flipping small tokens and prizes. This is what got us in this mess in the first place. Eat our help out, they said. That would help the economy. Cool, we did it. Boom, spiking numbers. Enjoy your summer. Travel locally. Boom, spiking cases. Like, Jesus Christos, man. What next? What next? If you Honestly, if you're going to allow people to do Christmas, why not allow people to go carnival on August? Why did carnival get cancelled? Tell me. Why did carnival get cancelled? It's outside in the sun like come on god damn it man anyway that, that that's what's gonna happen let's see anyway I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't happen um i'm hoping we we just have a thing where they advise because uh, look if you're gonna go celebrate christmas with your family you're gonna go anyway you're not need you're gonna need you won't need the government to tell you not to go and when to go right you're gonna go regardless right and you're gonna do whatever you need to do prior to going whether it's quarantining or not you're gonna do what you want to do you want to live your life so these things are not even needed. But I would much rather they just be like, hey, if we just sacrifice these next couple of months and we kind of hold on hope and the trials and the tests for this vaccine, you know, uh, pass the next necessary steps, we could be looking at a pretty optimistic new year. Who knows? Life could return to some level of normality by April, March, whatever. Imagine they said something like that. Would you, wouldn't you take it? Or would you really, really crave the idea of digging into a box of celebrations and cussing out your uncle during Christmas? Come on. Come on. Very again, what do I know? What do I know?